Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector, and this is the Figure Arts Zero Cho Gekisen, which is Super Fierce Battle, aka Extra Battle, Kura, aka Kula, aka Cooler, I guess aka Kurer for Bandai. He was released on August 23rd, 2019, and I got him from Amazon. Link in the description box below, as well as other places that sell this figure. Before we get to the figure, we're going to look at the box real quick, something I always like to do. Here is the front, where you have the Toei Animation sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let's you know that he's real, not a bootleg. Here's one side. Here's the back, with a very cool looking picture. The other side. The bottom. And the picture on the front wraps around to the bottom. And the top. And now let's take him out. Alright, <clears throat> then here he is out of the box where he stands at 9 inches. Very nice sized figure. Especially for a figure arts zero figure. And holy freaking crap, this is a nice looking figure. It is bigger and much better looking out of the box than inside of the box. And this is taken from a scene in Cooler's Revenge, shortly after he transforms into his new final form. I believe Goku Zen got knocked down into the water, and he came rushing down and put his foot on his torso, and then all the water spread out up into the air. That or he was on a rock, I can't remember which. Out of the box, this figure comes whole, so no assembly necessary. Bandai did a phenomenal job with this figure. The sculpt is done extremely well. And they captured his likeness very well. Looks exactly like his movie counterpart. Of course, most of his face is covered up, so it's not that hard to do so. But still, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Like I said, the sculpt was phenomenal, as well as the detail in the muscles. All those bulging muscles popping out. Dude's freaking jacked up. And the paint quality and application are phenomenal as well. And he's got some shading all throughout, front and back, on the white part of his armor and on his skin. And I love the dark, dark purple shading in between his muscles. Looks very nice. Nice contrast. The base is done extremely well also. I love the explosion beneath him. Beneath him. And the energy spikes wrapping around his ankle. Very cool looking. Would be really cool if, it, if they can light up. But when it comes to figures lighting up, you gotta rely on resins for that. And now for some figure comparisons. Here he is compared to the Matchmaker's Final Form Frieza, full power, and the Banpresto World Figure Colosseum, Frieza in his first form. And here he is compared to the S Cultures 5 Super Saiyan Goku, and the S Cultures Bardock, and Kryptonite to some of my viewers, Dust. That's all that I'm doing for this video. I want to get on hurry up and get to other figure reviews. So if there are any other figures I'm going to compare them to, then let me know in the comment section below. And I'll reply back as soon as possible with an image of the comparison. Alright, and then that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Even if you don't have them, let me know what you think based on what you see in this video. And if you'd like to buy this figure, then in the description box below, I'll provide some links to places you can buy this figure. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.